Hey, this is Andy with the Mandel team at Remax. I'm here to bring you this week's episode of This Week in Real Estate. So I want to begin by going over what has been the, going on the last week here. So if you, as you can see, the number of new listings that hit the market this week was 102 new properties. So when we go through these stats, this is for single family homes, townhouses, and villas in Boca Raton, Parkland, Coral Springs, Coconut Creek, Margate, and Tamarack. So this is for single family townhouse and villas, no condos. And when we talk about Boca, it is not 55 and over properties, and it's not in country clubs. Those are different markets completely. This is for all age properties. So 102 new listings hit the market this week. 43 properties were under contract and that deal fell through for some reason. Maybe it was an inspection issue, maybe it was an appraisal issue, or a lot, I'm seeing this number a little bit higher. A lot of buyers and sellers are obviously freaked out with everything going on and deals are a little bit harder to keep together right now. So that number is a little higher than normal. Um, there have been 62 price decreases in the last week. That's pretty on par for what we normally see. A lot of sellers put their home on the market for a, a, a ridiculous price, and then after reality hits them for a little bit, they come down. So that, that's pretty on par with normal. Um, look here for backup and pending. So these mean that properties were listed and a buyer wrote an offer and the seller agreed. So it went under contract. That, that is 95 pending sales in this week versus 102 new listings. So homes are selling. If you look here for canceled, there are 33 canceled listings and then temporarily off the market, 23. So a lot of sellers are taking their homes off the market and they're gonna wait, the, wait this whole situation out. And that's totally understandable. I obviously get why you would wanna do that, especially if you're living in the house, you don't wanna have people you know, trekking through your house who you don't know where they've been. Um, so there are a lot of properties that are coming off the market, but properties are still selling. There were 84 closed sales this week. Now that's really indicative of what happened 30 to 60 days ago when those properties went under contract, but they're still closing. Buyers are not backing out and, and running away. Properties are still selling. Um, so let's talk about what happened over the last 30 days here. So in the last 30 days, again, for the same areas, Boca, Parkland, Coral Springs, Coconut Creek, Margate, and Tamarack, the number of new listings that we're seeing hit the market in the month of March compared to a year prior, new listings is down 25%. That's pretty much in line with what everyone expected to happen with everything going on. Fewer sellers are saying, huh, I want to put my home on the market right now. At the same time, the number of new homes going under contract, that's down about 22%. So fewer homes hitting the market, fewer homes selling, and they're, they're coming down at about the same, you know, the same ratio, the same percentage. That typically is going to be a good thing for supply and demand. And we'll get into that in a second. The number of months supply of homes in the area, it's about three and a half months worth of inventory. So if no more homes hit the market, it would take three and a half months for all the homes that are on the market to sell at the current pace of sales. Now that number is a little bit higher than what it's been over the last couple of months, uh, but that's as to be expected. It's taking longer for homes to actually sell with everything going on. Properties are sitting on the market for a little bit longer. It is harder to sell them. So the month supply of inventory, I do expect to pick up just a little bit. Um, but to talk about supply and demand and where home prices are actually going with fewer homes hitting the market and fewer homes selling at about the same percentage, supply and demand is what creates home prices. So there's less supply and there's definitely less demand, but they're coming down at the same time at, in the same percentages. So home prices should not be cratering. There's, we should not be seeing this, this big wave of foreclosures and short sales. That's really not in the cards, at least from what anyone can see right now. With supply and demand both coming down at the exact same percentage almost, uh, th that should leave prices about where they've been. So I don't really see prices continuing to skyrocket, but they're definitely not plummeting either. So that was this week's market update. Thank you for tuning in to This Week in Real Estate. If you have any questions or if there's anything that I can do, feel free to reach out. My number is 954-610-0563. You can call me or text me, or you can even email me at andymandel at remax.net. Remember, if you're looking to buy or sell a home in South Florida, we got your back. Thanks for tuning in.